everybody? Welcome to Tea with Asia. My name is Tiasia Cockrell and welcome to my channel. Okay, so you guys are welcome in. Today I am doing a review. The wig is called Miss Seraphine. Okay, let's get into it. So honey is, she is super, super cute. Okay, Miss Seraphine is a color one. Now your girls usually is 1B. Okay, I never really go jet black, but I think they were sold out. This wig has been all on YouTube, of course. I had to try it out for myself. So this is by the Outre Collection Melted Hairline. It's giving me all types of life. Honestly, I didn't have to do too much now. Okay, my part is a little shifted to this side, I know, but it's fine. It's okay. So the lace was awesome, okay? As you guys can see, it is too light for me. So um, y'all see in the clips that I use my airbrush legs, uh, water resistant by um, Sally Hansen. So I use that spray, try to make it my, my skin tone as much as possible. Then I go in with my contour kit and you'll see that in the video as well. It um, has some curls. It's kind of, they're kind of falling now and I like it like that, especially with longer units like these. Um, let me show y'all where it goes. So it's like towards like my lower belly button area. So the curls are very long, hair is long. Um, so my application process is just for right now, okay? So I might have a little lump, but it's that's on me, y'all, it's on me. I give it a nine out of 10 because I can never get the lace to be literally like, like, like super my skin tone. So I gotta kind of finesse it and y'all see that in the clips. But um, other than that, I really hope it doesn't tangle like it will, like I'm thinking it will because it is a longer unit. So hopefully it doesn't, but um, yeah, if you guys love this, uh, love this tutorial, definitely give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so you guys can see when I'm posting some new, um, new videos because y'all, I told y'all, they're rolling in. I'm hot, y'all. I got some content for y'all, so I'm excited. Um, and stay tuned. So for this part, you just need a scarf just to tie it down around the, like the perimeter of the wig to keep it in place. Um, and I only have my bonnet with the tie around. So just use any scarf you have, tie it down and leave it on for 10 minutes.
when you're cutting your lace off make sure you do like a zigzag motion so you can't detect the the line of the wig so if you cut straight across it's gonna look like a helmet and we don't want this to just kind of go up and down Do y'all see how beautiful this unit is? Like, honestly, I just kept brushing it. Like, it was just, yes, yes. So I'm going to turn around and show you guys the back of the unit. Um, because it's really long, um, sometimes it's not really full. But this one is pretty full, so that's good. So I put my wine curler on, I think, 300. Um, and I just kind of flatten out the the part so it doesn't look lumpy in that area so as you guys can see just keep just keep uh, taking it down in the front the side the back and just hold it down The baby hairs. This is the trickiest part for me, but I've actually gotten so much better. So what you're going to do is just take a comb or uh, my edge brush I use. I just pull out some hairs and then you just want to make sure that they're not too long. So I'm going to cut a few. So I'm taking my Gotta Be Gel. Um, this is in a black bottle. We're going to put it on the baby hair. And then you're going to take your comb or brush and swoop it around. So my technique is I pull some hair out, put my finger on it, and then I'll pull it back. So like a swoop motion. And to make it look more of like a scalp, you want some of the lace to show behind the baby hair. Um, so it could look like a legit scalp. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So pull it out, finger, swoop around, and you're done. So the goal is to make sure that you are covering up the hairline as much as possible. So like the wig line, so it doesn't look like a wig. So anytime you swoop your baby hair, just make sure you're taking it over the hairline. So I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other side just in case you didn't catch the first side and um, hopefully it's easier for you to see this side. Disclaimer, I do struggle on this side so I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, my other side is my good baby hair side. That's why it's always showing, but I do, this is this, this gonna be okay. Just, just keep watching. And we are finished, you guys. I absolutely love this unit. I Like I said, I give it a 9 out of 10. It came through for your girl. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, y'all. And I'll see y'all later.